Welcome to uh, the first video in my second version of Pong. Uh, you may have noticed that, that I have two main parts added, the white and light gray areas. And basically what I've done is created an artificial intelligence, an AI you can play against. So as people have suggested, I'll start with a demonstration. First of all, you need to turn on the AI. Uh, for the red paddle and blue paddle and immediately you can see that the paddles will line up with the ball they go upwards here and here and now uh, when I start the game the ball will start moving and the paddles the CPU the AI whatever you call want to call them with it uh, this way you can actually play against a computer opponent and while the AI is activated, you can't uh, you can't control the paddles. So you can see it hit the ball and it bounces back. And right now I've made uh, for the demonstration where the AI plays against itself. I made it pretty hard by making the clock where it updates its position very fast, actually faster than the ball. So if you want to play against it you will lose. Now let's turn off the AI and you can see it will stop moving by itself and I can control it again. I press up, it will go up. I press down, it will go down. Alright so the ball, the game continues and we'll take a look at how it works. So the first thing I tweaked, I, I've added, uh, are those wireless transmitters to the paddle. Now, from now on, the second version will uh, will require the wireless redstone mode because mod because it just works faster. And if I use uh, vanilla, then I have to rewire the whole thing. Anyways. Uh, each of these transmitters transmits the position of the paddle to the AI control center. Now this is the one for the red paddle and here you can see that I transfer the decimal outputs of the paddle 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 into binary numbers using this very simple converter and uh, 0 becomes 1 because it's in the first position uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 now the, the binary numbers are transmitted to this device with, which is the core of the AI this is what we call a comparator it takes two binary numbers and gives us one of three outputs uh, if, one, if A is greater than B equal to B or less than B. Now I've removed the middle, the equal part, and replaced it with this clock you can see. And adjusting the speed, adjust the parts where the AI refreshes and checks its position against the ball. So we know that the binary representation of the paddle is transferred to it, that's the first number. And the second number is the ball's position, which is transferred straight from the clock. Right there. You can see 1, 2, and 3. Those are the transmitters. Now, if the ball is higher than the paddle, the paddle needs, the paddle needs to go up. And this part will light up, this end gate, which will send a pulse to here to 11 which is the up part of the paddle and the same thing goes for down it's not very hard now when the AI is off this piston goes up and doesn't let the signal through but when I turn on the AI it will go down and we will get this end gate flashing now I've also I also have these parts which are pulse limiters they uh, send out a constant pulse which I can choose how fast it is and uh, it doesn't matter which pulse comes in and I will demonstrate it because I've also implemented them in the user inputs 
Now the typical button pulse is 9 ticks. You can see it takes quite a while for it to go up and down. But if you look at this torch right here, you can see that the pulse is actually very short, around 1, 2 ticks. And why would I want to do that? Well, that's because I've changed the paddles themselves, the clocks, so you can so they uh, now are activated by shorter pulses, which means that you can, as a user and as an AI, control them faster, and it makes the game go smoother. Now, another thing I've added are those end gates, which are simple. This the input is connected to the AI uh, on off switch so when the AI is on you can't interfere with it now let's have another demonstration we'll flip this on and you can see that the paddle will start going up and that's the AI basically and if we turn on the game we can see that the ball starts to move and so will the paddles now the, now, the reason the first one isn't, uh, the right one isn't moving right now, that's a bug in the wireless redstone mode. Actually, I'm sorry, it's because I didn't activate it. But sometimes there's a bug where they just won't move. And it's kind of annoying, but that's what you gotta do with mods. Now that it's night, let's go and see how the AI works. And... Here we are, you can see this. The, the piston is down and the clock input goes in. And you can see here, the ball is lower, so this part is on, now it's, it's switched. And it sends the pulses accordingly, and to the correct length. That's been pretty much it. Uh, the comparators are basically XOR gates wired a bit differently. Uh, you can figure them out yourself if you have a bit of experience. If you don't and you wish to make them, uh, post a comment. I will edit the description to include a schematic or a design for them. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, the other feature I want to add in the second version is a score counter. So it will keep score on both the left and right paddles. And that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, before I end this video, enjoy another AI demonstration.